Ooh, it was not a Shiraz last time. Okay, so last time uh, I tasted a wine, very um, pale color, medium plus concentration, uh, tart on the nose, a little riper on the palate, a uh, little bit of RS, and I called it a um, Rheingau Riesling Spät Lisa quality level uh, from Germany. Um, so what other wines could it have been with it being somewhat off dry or sweet. Um, so let's talk about the three that it's really totally not. First off, it was definitely Old World, and so um, Viognier from California and Pinot Gris from Oregon are out on that basis already, but um, the uh, elevated body, medium plus, um, and the diminished acidity kind of kick Pinot Gris from Oregon out. Um, it's just not, that doesn't line up, right? So structure is always super important because that kicks it out right away. Um, and, and I think the acidity um, call uh, kicked out the Alsatian Pinot Gris that I kind of hinted at maybe a, a lateral or in the in my tasting. So um, no Pinot. Um, Vivre Sec from France. So uh, I feel like that's going to be a little bit sweeter. Um, medium body, high acidity, uh, diminished alcohol, all that stuff kind of lines up. Um, but the color, some oxidation, more orchard fruit, a um, little bit of sulfur that was there, so that's kind of similar, but herbal tea, botrytis elements, um, just color in general, um, but lots of stuff is going to be different. So no Vouvray Sec from France. Um, Viognier from California, this was clearly Old World, it was nowhere near ripe enough um, or fruity enough. Um, fruit cocktail, honeysuckle, crazy florals on that too, and I think Fruit Loops is like a, a traditional character call for that. Um, plus high body diminished acidity, so those are out. Um, it was Riesling, it was from the Rheingau, it was Cabinet, um, so, um, you know, there's a little bit there, but the I think the tartness on the nose and ripeness on the palate, diminished alcohol, 10.5%, um, it was August Keller, um, Rheingau, Cabinet, Riesling. So feel good about that call, 2018, I think I called the vintage right too. So that's pretty good, I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna cry about that one. Um, okay, so white wine. Uh, this one is a little more golden in color. Um, so we're dealing with a white wine, yellow, um, some, um, uh, I mean, it's pretty much straight yellow. Um, not too much in the way of highlights, um, not um, maybe a little bit silvery, a little bit uh, metallic, um, day bright, no sediment, no gas. Looks like medium viscosity just off the bat. Um, well, let's move to the nose. Um, it smells pretty apple-y, so golden delicious apples, uh, apple flesh, a little bit of apple skin, ripe, white flowers, honeysuckle. Um, there's a little sandy minerality. It's pretty clean though. Wine smells clean, youthful, ripe. There's a little bit of lemon, a little bit of, um, uh, flower petal, flower leaf, a little bit of greenness. <sighs> Sand. Does not smell like oak. I'm not getting anything spicy, anything oaky, anything um, uh, color-wise or, or nose. So I'm going to guess no on the oak on the, on the nose. Ooh. Um, oh, that's interesting. It's a little more ripe on the palate. It's dry, moderate plus acidity, um, moderate body. Mm, no real phenolics on this. Um, there's a little burn down, medium plus alcohol. Uh, there are more citrus characters on the palate. Um, apple and ripe and, and, um, the apple is a little more tart skinny, um, but it's a little more citrus. A little more citrus, a little more herbal. Um, that little bit of flower petal is here, not quite as um, unctuous as honeysuckle. Who knows? Moderate plus high, high acid. Um, so I think ripe and tart plays around here, um, structure plays, still no oak, confirming the characters on the nose to the palate. Um, this wine is clearly high elevated acidity. Um, it's 
fruit led, but cooler climate, new world. Um, you talked about mineral a little. You talked about fruit, the, a little bit of flowers, um, more ripe on the palate. Yeah, it's cool climate. It's new world. It's um, acidity, citrus. It's probably Sauvignon Blanc um, because not too many uh, uh, high acid whites that show this way without some oak in the new world. Ooh, so um, yeah, I want this to be Sauvignon Blanc. I want it to be from um, California. I just don't think that the um, grassy brightness is there for New Zealand. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to say youthful, one to three years. Um, California, Sadio Blanc, Napa. Um, yeah, so um, 2018. 2018 California Sauvignon Blanc from Napa. I think that's all I gotta say. Okay, not feeling super great about this one. So let's think about what other um, whites it could be with this color. Um, it shows up a little more golden, or a little more like shimmery, silvery green in the in the light on this. But <clears throat> apple orchard citrus. A little herbal, a little crisp. Yeah, I think that's what it says. It's Savion Blanc. It's from, um, stop talking. That's what it is. You take a few days off and you just lose all your gumption. All right, see you later.